Hello everyone and welcome back to Bird Nerd. Today we are learning about the opposite of one of my earlier videos on how birds stay warm in the winter. This video is about how birds stay cool in the summer. Wild birds have a lot of unique adaptations besides just hanging out in the shade to help them beat the heat. So without any ado, let's get into the video. One of the first, most common ways for birds to cool down is obviously water related. Taking a nice dip into a body of water to submerge exposed skin helps birds cool down, just like us humans going for a swim. Some species of birds will even fluff up their feathers and spread their wings after a bath to maximize airflow to their skin, cooling them down even more. If you want to help birds keep cool in this way, you can put out a shallow bird bath with an inch or two of water. Be sure to change the water every one to three days and clean it out when necessary. Believe it or not, the size of a bird's bill corresponds with the temperature for the climate they live in. In a study of marsh sparrows, researchers found that the sparrows with larger bills lived in a warmer climate, and the ones in cooler climates had smaller bills. But this doesn't go for all birds. For example, ravens that live in the high north have very large bills to help them chip into frozen food, so it depends on the situation. Tropical toucans also have large bills that allow them a special adaptation. The ability to increase and decrease blood flow to the bill helps them both to cool down and warm up. When the blood flow is increased, it promotes heat loss, whereas when the blood flow is decreased, the heat loss is decreased and the heat is retained inside the body. If you have a dog, most likely you've seen them panting when they're hot. Like dogs, some bird species have their own version of panting called guller fluttering. Basically, the bird opens its mouth and flutters its neck muscles, encouraging heat loss. Pretty cool, right? The last method of staying cool that we are about to go over is kind of disgusting, so if you're easily grossed out, just skip through this part. Some bird species, mainly vultures, display a thermoregulatory behavior called urohydrosis. This is basically when they cover their legs in their own feces and urine. This cools down their legs, but also the rest of their bodies since the cooled blood circulates. This behavior is pretty uncommon in the bird world, and raises a peculiar problem. In bird banding, a small ring is attached to the leg of a bird, but if that bird is covering its legs in waste, it could get caught in the band and potentially build up bacteria and just overall grossness. Instead, birds that use this behavior are usually banded with wing tags, rather than the traditional ankle ring. Well, that is all I have for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about cool ways that our feathered friends stay cool when it gets hot. If you liked this video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when I release a new video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time on Bird Nerd. <laughs>